Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Night Face bringing you my recent Blu ray update. Gonna share with you guys the titles I picked up, go over them one by one. Uh, not a big haul, no, no new releases, nothing like that. But interesting video because I will be introducing my Funko Pops for the first time in a video. So now you will see my June Funko Pop haul, my most recent pickups. I've been collecting Funko Pops. Since early this year, I believe it was like around January, February, I, I just started getting into them and yeah, I just, <laughs> I can't stop, you know, the Funko Pop addiction is real. But I'm excited to share with you guys these Funko Pops and of course the Blu-rays as well. So if you're subscribed to my channel for Funko Pops and Blu-rays, then you came to the right place, alright? So that's what I'm all about now and reactions and, you know, movie stuff, of course. But anyway, let's get right into it. Uh, first one up for the Blu-rays is The Internship. A very funny Vince Vaughn, Owen Wilson kind of comedy. It's not as hilarious as Wedding Crashers. But still, it's great to see this comedic duo do a film, even though this is this whole movie is just advertising Google, obviously. <laughs> but I had a friend bring up an interesting point that this should have been rated R and it probably would have been better. And I agree. I agree. So shout out to my boy Aaron for bringing that up. Next one up is Out of the Furnace. Uh, Scott Cooper, I believe. Yeah, directed film. He's director of Hostiles. And Black Mass, two movies I need to see. I own Black Mass. I need to pick up Hostiles. Heard it was pretty good. Uh, yeah, Out of the Furnace, very underrated uh, crime drama. It's not a crime thriller. It's more of a, like a, of a drama. And it's, it has to do with Christian Bale. He's like a mill worker. Casey Affleck, uh, his brother in the film, comes home after serving. Gets into, you know, like underground brawl fighting, I believe. And Woody Harrelson is like running that. And, he, and Woody Harrelson in this movie is just scary as hell. Like, he's just a scumbag. <laughs> and man, Woody Harrelson is one of those versatile actors that he could play a good guy or he could play easily a bad guy. But I highly recommend this one. Um, a lot of people really seem to like this one. This one indeed is underrated. And I picked this one up for only five bucks at Big Lots. So it was a steal. As well as the, inter the internship I picked up for $3 at uh, Big Lots. But yeah, Christian Bell gives such a good performance. I like the the third act of this film. is really good. Next one up. Uh, been wanting to add more Darren Aronofsky films to my collection. And it's great to have found his first film. Uh, well, not his first film. His first film was Pi. But his most well-known earlier film, that was Requiem of a Dream. With Jared Leto, um, is it Jennifer Connelly, Marlon Wayans? This this is probably one of the most depressing films I've ever seen. But that score, that music score, oh my god, it just absolutely love it. One of the best ever made, ever composed. You know which one I'm talking about. I can't think of the name, but yeah, it's it's amazing. Uh, definitely want to rewatch this one because I only seen it once. So, yeah, happy to pick this one up. This was at Best Buy. I picked it up for $6.99 or $5.99, I believe, in the Blu-ray bin. So, Requiem for a Dream. Another pickup at Best Buy from the Blu-ray bin is Lucky Number Slevin. Um, very overlooked, underrated crime, kind of dark comedy. Um, with Josh Hartnett, Bruce Willis, you got Starlet Cass, Ben Kinsley, Morgan Freeman, plenty of twists and turns. I remember... Really liking the twist at the end. Uh, super underrated, man. It just no one talks about this one at all. Like I don't know why. Let's see if I can focus. Can I focus. Anyway, lucky number seven. Really good film. Okay, now I got the Mission Impossible trilogy from Walmart. I only own Ghost Protocol and God, can't think of the name. The Rogue Nation. Rogue Nation. Uh, so, I got the um, trilogy here, even though it's not a trilogy now. Yeah, in preparation for Mission Impossible Fallout. So, yeah, I got, let me showcase these. First one up is Mission Impossible, Brian De Palma directed. 
and very different, uh, totally different from the rest. It's just more of a paranoia espionage thriller. Really good, good one. Uh, here's everyone's favorite, <laughs> MI2, John Woo, action bonanza, doves, new wielding Berettas, uh, pistols, and just, yeah, <laughs> motorcycle chases, rock climbing, you name it. It, it. This goes just so over the top. A lot of people hate on this movie, but I actually like it. I, I dig the third act a lot. And you got to give credit where credit is due. Tom Cruise performing his own fight scenes, uh, that, that fight scene in the... Beach, yes, is cheesy. It's like <laughs> doing cartwheel kicks and all that shit. But it was great to see him do his stunts. So, you know, a lot of respect for Tom Cruise. And then that knife to the eye, that was real. <laughs> like, he, he could have been stabbed for real. Like, it, it's crazy when you think about the stunts that Tom Cruise did in this movie. It's crazy. But I, I appreciate it. I like it. I don't love it. But I don't hate it either. It's not a total piece of crap like people are making it out to be, you know, so, and then Mission Impossible 3, one of my favorites, really like this one, I love the slipcover, this is probably my favorite one because of the blue, but yeah, these slipcovers are really nice, uh, they got the 4K ones, but this one I picked up at uh, Walmart, it was $10 each, but fellow Seymour Hoffman as the villain was so damn good, you know, he's like, you got a wife, uh, I'm gonna find her, uh, I'm gonna hurt her. I'm gonna make her suffer, and you're just gonna watch Ethan. <laughs> He's just a menacing scumbag, man. He played that so well. Rest in peace, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Seriously, such a great actor. And yeah, it was great seeing the team back with the addition of Simon Pegg and newcomers into this franchise. If you look closely, um, Jesse Pinkman <laughs> from Breaking Bad. Aaron Paul is in this. Uh, it's crazy when you see it now. Even Lawrence Fishburne had a pretty good role. This is one of my favorites. I go between this and Rogue Nation, which one I like better, because this was a great return to form for the franchise. J.J. Abrams did a fabulous job. That drone sequence in the bridge. Oh, my God. I love that action sequence. It was great. But, yeah, this is one I rewatched the most. Mission Possible 3. All right. Let's get into the Funko Pops. All right. Here we go. First one up is the Deadpool scooter that I picked and found. Sorry for the glare. There you go. I found this bad boy at GameStop. This is a Pop Rides. Um, they fucking overcharged me, I think. <laughs> GameStop. I, I, I think I'm going to stop going to GameStop for Funko Pops because even the regular ones are like, what, like uh, $11.99? I think that's way too overpriced just for a fucking common. But this one, they charged me like... Seventeen ninety nine, which is ridiculous. I mean, yes, it says pop rides, but usually they they come bigger. You know what I mean? I'm not a Funko expert. I'm, I'm a rookie, but still, I think that's kind of unfair. You know, this is like regular size, common pop, and you just for the pop rides name, they're they're charging you extra. Just an excuse for GameStop to overcharge you, in my opinion. Anyway, moving along, uh, these I picked up at <sighs> Bright Light Books, I think. Or Books a Million, sorry. Got The Incredibles. Started picking up The Incredibles pop. I got Violet here. Very nice Violet. Looks like she got bubble gum there, but that's her powers. <laughs> um, you know, I'm a rookie, so you guys will never probably see a chase. Because I don't know how these fungal pop uh, experts, <laughs> how do you get a chase? Like, they got the hookup. They got connections probably in all the Hot Topics and box lunches, you know, all those places, and they probably know people to get these um, chases, or they wait in line for, like, eight hours. I'm not, I don't have that kind of time, sorry, <laughs> or those connections, so, yeah, you just see exclusives and commons. Just give me a heads up. It'd be rare if I get a, a chase one day. That'd be awesome, but anyway, uh, picked up Frozone. So, these are the two Incredibles that I have. Incredibles 2 line from Funko Pop. I love Frozone. He's, he's my favorite character from Incredibles 2, so I was happy to find him and pick him up. Uh, these were $10.99 each. That's not bad. That's not a bad price. Uh, I want to pick up Elastigirl Target exclusive where she has that different suit on. Okay, now we're going to get to the Ant-Man line. Picked up Ant-Man. Uh, very good price. 
I think it was a Barnes and Noble pick up Ant Man for nine ninety nine. So there's Ant Man. Sorry for the glare. Nice looking Ant Man. And the back. Yeah, I do keep them in the box. I <laughs> when I first started, however, I did not. And yeah, I got scolded for that by my friends <laughs> who collect pops. They're like, you fucking no! Never take him out of the box! I'm like, Jesus, don't shoot me! Don't crucify me! Like, yeah. <laughs> but I kind of see what they mean. It kind of loses value, I guess. And they get damaged easily. They get scratched. So, I get it. I get it, you know. I'm learning as I go. And, you know, like, <laughs> I get OCD about this now. It's crazy. You know, you don't want your your boxes to be damaged and stuff, so you got to carefully look. And it's funny, like, when you go to these places and you're, you're like, can I see that one? Can I see that one? And then they're, like, looking at you like, just pick one already. No! got <laughs> Pick the best one, you know? Anyway, there's Wasp. I got her at GameStop. I could not find her anywhere, like, in Target or Walmart, where you normally pick it up for, like, eight fifty, I think. Uh, uh, Pop. But GameStop is so overpriced. I, I want to shoot myself in the foot for getting this one. Yeah, you because know, this is a common. It shouldn't be eleven ninety nine. But whatever. That's GameStop. I found her. It was good pro um good condition. So cannot pass up the wasp. I had to. You know, I had to have her. Ant Man and the Wasp. They go hand in hand. You know. So yeah. Uh, moving on. Got these at uh, bo box lunch. Had a good deal. I think it was two for 18. Sweet deal. Very fair. I got Hank Pym. Looking so cool. Did not get the exclusive because I like them more with uh, their masks on. You know, gotta have them all matching. You know, the exclusive was a hot topic, I think, with him unmasked. Okay. And I got Janet. Michelle Five for Janet Van Dyne. I don't remember seeing her with this, like, uh, Darth Maul-looking double-bladed <laughs> staff. But, yeah, that's, uh, I guess that's what they gave her. Like, I just don't recall seeing her with that. I don't know. Maybe I might have missed that in the film, but she looks pretty cool. Awesome, awesome. Moving on. We're almost done here. Uh, Mad Max Fury Road. I love this one. Oh, this was such a great find. And for a decent price, like $8.78, I believe, at Walmart. Exclusive. Uh, look at that. You got you got a good look at the, the double barrel shotgun in there somewhere. So I like that. This was, this was probably one of my favorite finds so far. And last but not least, no, well, yeah, this is the last one. <laughs> Keen Aragorn. Urgh. Yes, from Lord of the Rings. Vigo, look at him. Look! Return of the King, baby. This was a great find in Barnes & Noble. I was so lucky they had four of these, um, you know, in the behind the counter in Barnes & Noble. And I was like, give it, give it. <laughs> I showed my friends these. They're like, give it. I need it. I'm so jelly. I'm so jealous. <laughs> so happy to pick this one up because I absolutely love Lord of the Rings. Uh, this is this is the best find. This is, uh, oh my God, this is the Holy Grail. Look at him. Just look at him. It's amazing. Love this popcorn kissing now. Mwah. Yeah. Did you cringe? I know you did. Anyway, <laughs> there's my haul, my Funko Pop and Blu-ray haul update. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like if you want, and I'll catch you in the next one.